Hey guys, I'm Sam here at NS Studios. I'm going to show you five ways to use triggers for stuff that isn't firing drum samples as fast as I can. One, create a new channel with an oscillator set to 50 hertz. Put a gate on that channel so you have a side chain input listen to your kick. When the kick sounds, it will open the gate and trigger a 50 hertz sine wave, giving some extra weight to your kick. Two, send a one shot snare sample to your reverb instead of the mic snare channel to make sure the reverb is consistent at all times and doesn't get lost on quieter hits. Three, Send a snare sample into the sidechain of the EQ on your snare mic channel. Set this band to be dynamic so that it only brings up the high end when there's something in the sidechain. You can make your snare brighter but not have to worry about the hi-hat spill. 4. Send a sample of something short like a clap to the sidechain input of the gate on your tom mic so that it opens when it detects the clap and not the toms. You don't have to worry about spill or cymbals opening your gates anymore. 5. Set up a gate on your vocal channel to have a sidechain input to detect the snare sample track you've set up. This will let you add a cool choppy stutter effect to your vocal when there's a snare fill. Thanks for checking it out. Instagram, YouTube, website.